Hey everyone! So I wanted to do a review on a recent gift that I got from my boyfriend for Mother's Day. And it is the NARS foundation here. All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is what the packaging looks like and it's in a heavy glass bottle and when I first got it I did not realize that it was a pump so I was like trying to unscrew the top and yeah you don't want to do that you just lift up and there's a pump so that's really convenient made me want to try this foundation is number one I have never purchased anything NARS before and I've always been really curious and two Last time I ordered from Sephora.com, I got a sample of this foundation and I really loved it. I was able to get two different wears out of the sample that I got and I just thought that it was amazing. It covered very effortlessly, just blended, it kind of like melted right into my skin. It just seemed like you didn't need a whole lot of it and I was really impressed with it. So when my boyfriend asked me what I wanted for Mother's Day, I told him I wanted this foundation. And and the color that I have is medium to Santa Fe I feel like it's a slight bit too light and believe it or not I just exchanged this yesterday I had got the light six and I can't remember it's like Cylon or Cylan or something like that that's what I had ordered from the website and that was way too light so um, I went into Sephora in Manhattan close by my boyfriend's job and so I wanted to do an exchange. I was trying to get a match with one of the makeup artists but they were running around busy and I stood there and waited a while and I just said forget it so I just went ahead and pretty much matched myself <laughs> and you know as you guys know the lighting in the store is a little different than once you get it outside or get it home and it is a pretty good match for me but it is a little tad too light still because of this time of year and because I self tan and because you know you go out in the sun or whatever but all in all I feel like it's a good match now as far as the foundation itself now that I have it home and now that I've used it a couple of times I'm not so super thrilled on it anymore. The reason I say that is because time of year for some reason my pores get larger and I feel like this makeup tends to like sink into the pores and make the pores visible. Where the last foundation I was using which was a very much cheaper drugstore foundation. Now this is the foundation I was using previously. It's the Rimmel Match Perfection and it's in the color sand and I got this at Rite Aid and it was $7.29. So a huge price difference. This is $48 and this is $7. Gotta be honest with you guys, I think I like the Match Perfection better. I haven't been using the NARS for a long long time but I will tell you the couple of times I have used it, it does seem to settle into pores and fine lines. Um, consistency of the NARS is a little hard for me to get used to too. It's super thin and super light. I will give them that. They say it's weightless and it really is weightless. When you put it on, it really does blend quickly and it does set quickly and it is very lightweight. It hardly feels like you have anything on more than like a moisturizer. So that is definitely a positive. Leave that this foundation has 20 shades which is a really good range of different skin tone colors so almost anyone can find their shade I just feel like for almost $50 that I'm really just not that impressed with this I wouldn't say it's a bad foundation when you use a very thin layer it's definitely a natural coverage but you can definitely build it up into a very full coverage foundation easily so that's not a problem tried applying it with my hands which on the directions it does say to use your hands it says to put the product in the middle of your face and use your fingers to work outward to blend it in um, and it says work very quickly as it dries fast as I did notice tried it with my fingers and I've also used just a regular makeup brush that's how and I'm actually wearing it today and I did apply it with a makeup brush today and it also says it's all day and I believe on the website it says up to 16 hours that it lasts I've had it on now for for about three hours and I already you know see it kind of settling into the fine lines and the pores but not too bad and it's not anything that can't be fixed with a touch up with powder so if you don't mind touching up 
you know, very often. And I don't feel like I have like super oily skin or anything by any means. Actually, I have dry skin. But it is hot and it is humid, so that does make a difference. If you don't have, you know, any concerns with fine lines or pores, it definitely could be an amazing foundation. I think just for me, it's just not my perfect match foundation wise I'm actually thinking of returning it and exchanging it for something else that I like more I don't know I haven't decided yet I, I, I'm just kind of on the fence because on one hand it is a really good foundation and on the other hand I just can't get past the settling part and I've seen other reviews where people did say and these were much younger people that really didn't have any fine line concerns um, and they said that it you know did tend to settle a little bit in their fine lines and smile lines and stuff like that so I don't know tell me what you guys think if you've tried this foundation or any other NARS foundations or you recommend because I'm definitely looking to try some different foundations I want to try some higher end you know just to see how I like out of a five I would rate the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation a two and a half just for the simple fact of settling into fine lines and um and pores that's just kind of you know a big fat no-no in my book for me personally but if you guys like this foundation please let me know below and if you're thinking of trying it let me know also I really love to hear your feedback and comments on this and I hope that you guys enjoyed this review and until next time I love you so much and I'll talk to you guys later bye